Hello everybody and welcome to another ranking video in Jurassic World Evolution 2 and today's is of course being the carnivores this time. Last video we did was the herbivores which probably was very controversial for some people. Hope you guys leave your comments there because I'm literally recording this right after I did that one so I haven't seen any comments but today we're gonna be looking at the 10 best carnivores now I will not be including the hybrids because well if I did I'd be putting two for sure in the top three and one of them wouldn't make it on the list I can let you guess which ones are going on the list and which ones not but we're gonna focus on actual dinosaurs no hybrids this time and we're going to start off with number 10, which is a surprising one, the Carcharodontosaurus. Now, maybe it's just because he's got the JPOG roars in and that sort of pumps my nostalgia up a little bit. But I think he's actually a cool one. Like, I wasn't a huge fan of the skins in the first game. He probably had some of the worst skins for a new dinosaur in the DLC. But this time, he's got a lot of awesome ones specifically if we go to here my favorite three are actually the last three well no last it would probably be these three the yukon river the silverbad and the mangrove forest probably the silverbad is my favorite because i've actually used it quite a bit and for the pattern i would have to say it would actually be fine without one but probably well, let's see. Let's take a look at this one. I actually really like the way Mangrove Forest and Felofax look on here. It sort of brightens up the head and gives them some nice color palettes. Kind of reminds me of a toy, actually, from, like, the Kenner line or something that would be. Don't understand the weird, like, horn right at the top of his head. Kind of reminds me of a unicorn, just really small one, of course. But still, I actually really like this. I know it's going to be a controversial um, pick, but, you know... We'll deal with it for now. But moving on to number nine, he is actually, actually, he's right here. The Celiophysis, one of the new additions that came with the game at its launch. And probably, I love the way that he actually looks. He's got some interesting colors, actually. I actually really like this Limpo River. It's a nice dark look to him. And my favorite actually nope it's right here the chakurana i actually like the dark look of his body with that vibrant blue but you could do a few actually with this guy where's the other one that i really like i think it's i think it's this one yep it's that one and not the red the or the rana i actually really like this one kind of reminds me of like one of the green indoraptors because of that stripe but you know it's a nice small feisty dinosaur from the triassic era which we don't have enough triassic dinosaurs i know there weren't too many at the end of triassic era but still i want to see more and maybe that's what influenced him to be on the list at number nine but going to number eight which is actually going to be uh, where is he? Nope, not him. He's later on in the list. It is the... Oh, God, where is he? Ah, there he is. The Sukumimus at number eight. Taking the t spot for the Spinosaurids, at least the first one. There's one more that'll be on this list. And it's because it's one of those ones that's quite paleo accurate, really. The arms are actually not too bad. They're onto the side and not like really pronated. Also, the snout is actually really thin, which is nice to see compared to the other two. The other two have thicker snouts, which isn't accurate, I know. But this guy is, and he's got some nice screeches to him. Also, he's got some amazing skins. I like specifically, I like the Yukon River, and also the um, Amazon Rainforest are my two favorites. And for patterns, I would say probably the best would be... Rana because it kind of goes with everything at least that's my opinion maybe also Pulcherana would work on this one too though I think actually um, the black Rana is actually a lot better and I just like the way it's a medium-sized Spinosaurus well not Spinosaurus Spinosaurid but it's got a nice look to him very different from the other ones in behavior and stuff 
And, you know, he's got some really unique animations, especially because of that snout, actually. Unlike with the other ones who could just swallow people or something, he actually has to sort of work around it because of that tiny, itty bitty snout, which is why I put him at number eight. And going on to number seven, a controversial one, probably for some, it is the Velociraptor, which I put him so low because unfortunately his skins, they're good, but they're not the best they can be. They all have a similar look to them in a way, though for the, apart from, and the reason he's on the list for sure is because, well, we've got all of these movie skins. Though interestingly, we don't have the Camp Cretaceous ones that we saw in, well, Camp Cretaceous, which is kind of weird. But I gotta say, my favorite actually using for the movie skins is surprisingly Charlie. I don't know, I just like the green look of him actually, so he wins for me. But Velociraptor is on the list just because mainly he's got all of his movie skins. And he's got some okay skins. I actually think my favorite would probably be this purple one. I don't know why, it just looks so poisonous. And with this, um, I think probably these two, Felifax and Pulcherana, with this, kind of makes him look poisonous, especially with that look around the eye, if you see that red, that actually looks really nice. I, it's actually kind of freaky. Let's get away from them, oh jeez. Though, not the best skins for full, especially like these ones, like some of them don't really stand out like this brown, it's sort of too dull. The green, it's not really that green, it's more of a yellowish green actually. Ugh. I'll stick with this one. But yeah, Velociraptor makes it to number six. And going on to number five, which we've got to go up, 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 and away, we have... Oh god, he's all the way up the top. Number five, for the fifth time, is right here, the Cryolophosaurus, which I was gonna put him a little bit higher, but I think he's good right in the middle, actually. And he's like, he was probably one of the best additions, because he's got an awesome look with that crest, actually. And a purple eye, actually, I love that purple eye. It definitely stands out. It'd be creepy at night, imagine seeing that purple eye stare at you. Ugh give me chills but the best thing is definitely his crest because if you just like look at that one look at the felio flax on this guy that one goes like with anything like i'd say my best skin with it is either mangrove forest because i just love the way that it sort of makes i don't know why it makes me think of thermal heating or something even though the colors don't really work for that but mangrove forest would be the best or actually if we go here, um, Gambia River Basin, a nice purple one, which, this guy was quite a surprise, actually, he looked, he looked definitely strange, but he's got some awesome skins, like, these ones all work, like, you can have some earthy ones, you've got some vibrant ones, and then the crest, of course, like, these colors all work, like, definitely the best two are probably Rana and Felioflax for this guy, for sure. But still, each of them work for me. So, definitely a win for this guy, and I'm really glad he made it in. And, going on to number four, which is right here, the Carnotaurus. And, there's two reasons. One, he's got some awesome skins. I like, for example, um, the green ones here. Reminds me of the camouflage. The, the pattern colors, unfortunately, aren't, like, the best. I would say probably the best for sure is Lana. But the other ones kind of look kind of a little pastely, especially this um, Papurana. Like that one's not the best. It's especially in the daylight. It got a. It sometimes has this pinkish hue that doesn't looks like it doesn't even want to be pink. So yeah, like this one of the good ones. But of course, my favorite thing about him is this. It's just Coco's got it for him. He's got the beautiful sitting animation. He just looks like a complete dork, just like me, so he, he had to win. He, he should have been number one with this sitting animation alone. It's kind of in the rules, but we're going to keep him at number four because, well, he was close, but he wasn't number one. But number three, we're getting into the top three now. Number three is actually at the top. It is Allosaurus, which 
He's up here for two reasons. Well, three. One is because I love Allosaurus personally. Two, he's got some amazing skin colors, like even the darker ones, like the silver bread, that just looks so intimidating. And then some bright ones like Mangrove Forest or Gambia River. Oh, wow, I haven't seen this one. Gambia River. And then the patterns, they're actually really good. Like, they're kind of strange placements, I gotta say, but I really like them, and they all pop. Even the, like... Here's it without them, and then just boom, pops going crazy. Like, you could have, like, say, this being a female. Actually, no, look at that crest, actually. That's where the highlight is. I love the way. Ooh, ho, 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 look at that red. I like that one. So, yeah, like, this is a nice skin here. Allosaurus, he's got amazing skins, amazing roars, and just is one of my favorites. And, as a bonus, he's getting, we're gonna get that Battle of Big Rock adult skin. Which, only worry I have for that is we won't get, like, all these combinations for that model, which, hoping we do, because it'll be really cool. But, who knows, maybe we'll just get that one, but still, Allosaurus had to be number three. He is awesome. And, number two, which was a close one, actually, between these two, but I'm gonna actually go with number two being... Where is he? Uh, cues. There he is. Changesaurus. Disney, for God's sake. The only reason he's not number one is because Disney just can't stop sneaking their way into everything. They gotta have everything, and I know what you're thinking. How is Disney involved with this? Well, his name means Pinocchio X. Pinocchio's Disney. But he's got, he's got the best skins of, like, any dinosaur in the game like look at all these combinations like amazon rainforest mangrove uh red gambia river like every skin on this guy is good i can use every single one which i can't say for any of the other dinosaurs not one dinosaur apart from this can i say that the only reason he loses is because unfortunately he doesn't have like the Unfortunately, not all the patterns are like this green the Pultra is not the best So that sort of drops it for me, but the other ones are really good The Chakorana is actually really nice with this one I would say for this skin it would probably either have to be Felifax or Papurana But yeah, this guy really surprised me and being a Tyrannosaurid and me being my favorite group being Tyrannosaurids It's gotta be up there but there can only be number one. But before we get to him, I need to give an honorable mention. And actually, I realized we get, went through this a lot quicker. Now, one that I'm su originally surprised that I didn't put on was the Spinosaurus. And the only reason that he is not on the list is because, unfortunately, his skins, well, they're not the best. Like, this one, oh, jeez. That... This one looks really weird. Like, he looks like he's trying to go, um, um, bioluminescent, but failed or something. Which doesn't really look good in the day. Some of these skins are alright. He could have made the list, but I think he just didn't win this one. Also, really like this Sonar Desert. It kind of looks like, if this is the Jurassic Park 3 one, but this guy looks just way more vibe, like a more bloodied version and stuff. I like that, actually. But... For patterns, like, patterns, they're not really the good. I don't like the purple on the face. Like, it's fine for the sale, but I would say the, um, Felioflax is definitely the best for, like, the pattern, actually. I really do like that bloody look. And it goes with most of these skins, actually. Like, like, here's one that, I think this was the one that was in the Battle Royale that I recently did. So, yeah, he's has some okay skins. Yeah, like, look at that. That, the purple just, like, destroys the pattern there, but it was a close one. He could have made the list, but unfortunately, Spino, I love you, but your skins just didn't win. But another honorable mention is actually the Troodon. He has some awesome skins, especially the patterns. They look very bizarre. Like, look at this one. Like, you have this one that's, like, sort of calm on the face. Then you go to this one. Oh, my God, he looks like... He looks like a poisonous animal for sure with these skins. I think they meant, oh my god, whoa, what is that? Felioflax, jeez, ugh. Yeah, these guys are creepy. But I would definitely say he he actually should have made it on the list, guys. But I only have 10, so 
he's definitely my honorable mention. Like, look at all these skins. These are beautiful, especially the way they look poisonous. I would say that the best one here would probably be this guy, the Gambian River with Felioflax. It just screams, poison, get away from me, and run away. But number one is, of course, the T-Rex. I, I had to, guys. Like, the model is much better in this game, for me at least. And the skins, they're actually okay. I like the earthy tones. And also, he's got some nice bright ones. Like, he's got a nice green, a nice blue one. And of course, he's got his movie ones. But I would say my favorite probably has to be this. And the pattern actually is not too bad, actually. I would say my favorite pattern, actually, no. If we go to Lithio Bates, and where's that pale one? Oh, there's supposed to be a pale skin. I'm pretty sure it's a challenge mode some skin, I'm pretty sure. Something like this. This is a nice one. It's a nice sandy look. Well, it's a Death Valley, but he's got also all of his movie slash show skins, which I, I love this T-Rex. Like, it's awesome, and cannot wait to see more of him. And, like, it's T-Rex. He'll always be my favorite dinosaur, and he just won it. Though Changesaurus almost did beat him for the skins. So, realistically, those two could probably switch places, and I'd be just as fine with it. They're both tied for number one, really. So, realistically, number one is Changesaurus and T-Rex. Number ten is actually the Troodon. But, guys, that is the list of the carnivores. In the next one, we will be doing either the aquatics or the flyers, which, I don't know, we'll, we'll do one of them, that's for sure. But if you've enjoyed this carnivore video, leave your favorites in there. And do you think that I was okay with mine? Do you think I made some controversial choices, like the Carcharodontosaurus even being on the list? Though, one thing I actually didn't look at was Acrocanthosaurus. He's a nice one, but I don't know. He's got a weird little face. Like, he looks so... Like, he looks done with life. Like, he should have been on the list for that. He's just like, I am unamused with this. I do not approve. Albertosaurus also, too. Jeez, why not just put all of them on? And I was going to put Baryonyx on, but, you know... He's not, like, the greatest with skins, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here. If you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye